Okay, this is gonna be a basic uh, instructional video on how to use the Kraken Sports Smart Housing 2.0. Um, just gonna go through a quick basic setup of uh, how to put your phone in, how to vacuum seal it, uh, how to turn it on, how to charge it, um, just all the basic functionality you'd need. Um, so uh, you get your housing, <coughs> your pump. These are two different short cables, one for iPhone, one for Android. Um, to charge your phone when it's inside the housing. This regular USB cable here, USB-C cable, this is to actually charge the battery that goes inside the housing. You'll see there's a micro or a USB-C port right on the battery. Uh, to, to charge the battery, this battery that goes inside the housing, you do have to take it out and plug in this cable into the battery here. Uh, this is standard uh, USB-C again, so if you do manage to lose this cable, uh, you're chances of being able to find one locally wherever you are are, are quite good. This is a, a regular USB-C cable. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, battery compartment is right here. You take the cap off. Take your battery positive side, which is uh, the nub here. It's gonna go down or towards the uh, top of the housing. You gotta remember you do have a double lowering seal here, so make sure that you do keep an eye on those O-rings. Uh, they do need to be kept clean and uh, lubricated just enough so they shine like you can see here. Um, and there is a spare set that comes with the housing too if you do damage them or they get tired. All right, so you're gonna screw that on there. You can now see that uh, our housing's on. Uh, to turn the housing on or off, uh, function and down to turn off. You can see the lights have uh, quit blinking. Simply press the shutter button and it will come back on. You will see there's two lights on the inside of your housing there. This one up here indicates whether you are charging your phone or not charging your phone. This one down here indicates the vacuum status and the battery level of the housing. Uh, so if your battery level is below 50%, uh, even when you vacuum it, this will still be red. It will just be solid red. Uh, we've had some people think that uh, the housing's not sealed uh, because this is still red. Um, the, the color change indicates the battery level. The blinking, either solid or flashing, indicates the, the vacuum status. You do have uh, a big sticky pad here. Uh, you can use this or not. It's up to you. Uh, it's reusable. Uh, when you're not using it, we do suggest you cover it up with this... Uh, this cover here so it stays clean because it will get dirty um, if you are you know if you don't want to touch that or have that touching your phone which it won't hurt it at all it's uh, just a sticky pad uh, we do have these two uh, soft silicone bumpers um, which will hold your phone in place basically sandwiches it in there and that's how I'm gonna use it today I'll show you um, you can put those on your phone uh, they are totally reusable uh, we do give you another uh, pair too um, I suggest putting them on the uh, door of the housing. That way you don't have to peel them on and off your phone every time you're using it. Um, you can put them on your phone if you want. That's totally up to you. Uh, inside the housing, we do have um, a plug here over the USB-C port. Whenever you're not using this, um, please make sure you keep this club in, uh, this little plug in there because otherwise if you drip water in there, uh, you're gonna get water damage and that's gonna no longer work and possibly affect the rest of the electronics in the housing. Um, they are easily replaceable if you do manage to flood it um, under some mistake or something like that. Uh, but just general uh, general use, just make sure you keep that in there if you're not using it to charge your phone. Because you don't, you don't have to have the housing charge your phone if you don't want. Okay, so that's kind of the general use of the housing. Um, I will quick show you before we get a phone in there too, um, how to vacuum seal it. Um, this is the vacuum port right here. Inside the housing, there is this little silver disc included. Uh, it does make it a little bit easier to undo at the start, uh, just because it is a little tight in here. Once you get it started though, it comes off uh, very easily. Uh, this is single ring seal, same as the ones on the battery compartment. Just make sure you uh, keep an eye on it that it's clean, no dust, dirt, hair, sand, debris, anything like that. And make sure it just keeps a little bit of a shine. Standard silicone lube is uh, perfectly fine to use. So, and you've got your pump. Now, if you take uh, take a look here, it might be kind of hard to, 
to illustrate this on one but if you watch the light on the bottom there you can see now oh, sorry I just let go a little bit too early there Let's see if I can now you can see that that light down there is still red but it's now solid red so we do now have a vacuum seal now remember uh, until you release that vacuum seal uh, you're not going to be able to get this open uh, it, it's you'll end up breaking this latch trying to get it open so you do need to release it to release it you just simply pull it to the side with your finger and off you go and do make sure you always place this cap on before you go in the water if you don't place this cap on you will uh, get a leak through that port so this cap does need to be on there Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, look at pairing the phone uh, with the housing and, and getting the app uh, download and everything. Okay, so I'm just going to set this to the side for a moment. I'm going to grab a phone here. All right, so this is an Android phone. This is a Google Pixel. Um, the process will be same with any other Android phone. The only difference on a... Um, Apple or an iPhone is uh, that you're not going to use Play Store, you're going to use App Store. So you're going to search uh, Kraken Sports Smart Housing or Kraken Smart Housing. That should bring it up. It's going to be the one with the blue, white squid and the blue background. So you're going to download that. Wait a second while it downloads here. Click open. You have to make sure you always agree to these permissions. If you don't, your photos might not save um, or the connection might not happen properly. So always make sure you give uh, the app whatever permissions it's asking for or else it might not work properly. Okay, so to simply connect the housing and, and take some photos, you just click on camera, tap to connect the housing. Again, make sure you allow the permissions that it's asking for. search okay since I've only got one housing sitting here there's none others working in the room it's only going to show the one make sure you give it these permissions okay we're now connected um, I'll go ahead and toss it in the housing here so like I said I'm gonna just keep this uh, closed I don't need it because I'm using the uh, cushions on the door uh, you can use both, it's up to you. Now, I will uh, put on the charging cable also. Remember, this will only charge your phone, it won't charge the housing. You have to take the battery out of the housing uh, to charge it. You do have to make sure every phone is going to be a little bit different, that this cable doesn't get stuck in the door um, or on those buttons. Um, otherwise, the housing, uh, when you press the buttons, it won't uh, be covered up by the cable. Okay, so we are now working. Uh, operation's really easy. Um, right now, if you press the shutter button, you're going to take a picture. Uh, you scroll down, you can start recording video. Start and stop, the arrow down, you've got your more options so you can uh, mainly adjust your ISO, or set it back to auto. Uh, this is focus either locked or auto, so if you do find something you want to lock focus on and don't have to worry about auto focus searching, uh, you can lock the focus, again shutter speed, uh, manual control. You can go back to automatic. And that's just simply a light on the uh, light on the camera. It'll be a constant light. It's not an actual strobe. Click the back. You can go to zoom. You can zoom in and out. Um, sorry. Go back. 
you're gonna do your selfie camera or your wide angle also. Um, note that uh, wide angle will only work on Android on some cameras, on the Pixel it won't. Um, and that's simply just because uh, Google doesn't allow third party access to the wide angle camera. Uh, most iPhones do. Um, Androids, it's, it's hit and miss, it's up to your uh, manufacturer. All right, um, other than that, that's just basic use of uh, the phone and the housing, taking photos, video, very, very straightforward. Um, one other thing to note, if you um, press the function button just once, you can manually control focus too, um, just depending on what you're trying to shoot. And then if you press and hold focus, you'll go into a standby mode. Uh, this basically just deactivates the camera. It helps to preserve your battery life. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're just going through your dive and you want to make sure your battery lasts a little bit longer, uh, just press and hold that function key uh, to get out of it. Just press and hold the function key again, and you're back in business. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the um, phone from the housing and just show you some other basic functionalities of the app also. Oh, sorry, before I do that, um, this button right here, just behind the shutter button, if you do press that, you'll see this light goes green and you saw the phone the phone screen kind of have a pulse there. Uh, you'll see that it is now charging. Uh, so it will it is now charging the phone from the housing. That again just helps you get longer battery life because um, if you are out in a you know an open air boat and there's lots of water and splashing around, it's best to put your phone in here uh, you know as you're getting in the dive boat uh, before you get out of the harbor. Uh, just helps keep your phone safer. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, open this up. The phone out. And again, you can you can use this charging feature or not. It's it's totally up to you. Okay, so if you just hit the X button here within the app go back to the home screen uh, this is your gallery it just shows the pictures that we've just taken extras is just your compass and shows your battery level meter um, as time goes on we're looking at developing additional features uh, within the app as your settings uh, your, your photo and video quality if you do have the pro housing, um, just make sure that you select whichever type of water you're in so the depth um, displays properly. Uh, obviously temperature and depth display units. If you do have the pro pro housing, the one we're using is, is not the pro, it's basic, so it doesn't have that feature. Uh, standby mode. Uh, so right now you have to press and hold the function key to enter standby mode. You can have it do it automatically. So you turn that on, you can adjust the time frame. So um, after 15 seconds of inactivity, if you not press any buttons, it will automatically enter that standby mode. Um, to get out of it, you simply press the shutter button and it automatically goes out of it. Uh, this is enabling shooting raw. That's if your camera supports it, or sorry, if your phone supports it. Some do, some don't. Again, like the wide angle, um, some, folks might, some phones might support it, but your manufacturer turns off the ability to have third-party apps use those features. So. That again is totally phone dependent. On screen data is uh, if you have your pro housing, that's your depth temperature. Um, that shows on the bottom of the screen there. So you can turn that on or off. All right, the last couple of features I've got here is uh, one click color correction. So I'd loaded up an old photo here that was just taken with uh, ambient light. You can see it's very blue. You just click one, one click correction. And it's going to go ahead and process. And I'll bounce that photo out a little bit better so it isn't predominantly blue. Uh, another good way to fix this. There you can see the final result there. You can click save. And that will show up in your camera roll and the gallery of the housing. Um, the other way to achieve this without doing the color correction within the app is uh, using a red filter for the housing. Right, the gallery. 
straightforward. Uh, you click photo, it's gonna load up. You can delete it. Same thing with a video, just takes a minute to uh, load it. So you can watch the video in here or you can delete it. And then if you do have the pro version, um, to get to the dive logs, it's gonna automatically log each dive because uh, this is a fresh install, I don't have any showing here, uh, but you can either see a graph or a uh, table of the, of the info. Uh, it's gonna store each one of your dives. To get access to the dive log feature, you do have to make sure that you log in. Um, in the settings menu, there's a spot to click log in. You can make your account. Uh, so make sure you do that to be able to access the dive logs if you do have the pro version. Other than that, it gives you a, a, a basic idea on how to use your housing. Um, it is very simple, straightforward. Um, anything else on this housing? And a couple other things I did want to talk about is uh, there is tripod mounts on the bottom, so you can easily put it on a tray. Um, up here, you can put a ball mount or a lens adapter, and then you can see a, there's a track system on here. The top and the bottom, that's for the red filter. It slides back and forth. Um, does come with a lanyard, which we do suggest you use so you don't lose it if you get in rough water. Uh, the disc to make the vacuum port come on and off easy. Other than that, we hope you have a great time in your housing. Um, oh, one other thing to note too is, again, these are sticky. Um, this is a universal housing, so uh, it fits many different shapes and makes and models of phones. Uh, so we can't really make anything that's 100% permanent in here, and that's why we've gone with this sticky pad and these uh, foam cushions. Uh, as your phone changes dimensions, uh, you can just adjust these to what suits you best. Uh, and that's why we've done it that way. Again, these are reusable, so you can peel them off. It's not a big deal if you uh, don't like where you've stuck them. Uh, you can always adjust that down the road at any point in time. All right, thank you very much and uh, hope you enjoy your housing and get some great photos.